Welcome to the MACPAR Insights in the Federal Agile Transformation video podcast series designed to provide federal IT leaders with all of the strategic tools and insights they need to best leverage agile development today and into the future. And today we are speaking with Nicholas Sibley, who's the agile coach and trainer for MACPAR about cross-platform integration. And Nicholas, thank, thank you for thank joining us. Thank yeah. you, Matt. Great to be here. Yeah, likewise. Great to have you. And let's start at the top. What is cross-platform integration? Cross-platform integration usually involves multiple teams trying to reach across several platforms to reach the entire product line. So what happens is each of these teams has a piece of the puzzle to deliver, but they must deliver them in a cadence. That's why we use PI planning, product increment planning. That means each team must arrive at their product increment with their code in place or the front end, all the teams that are required to produce the product must have everything in place at the integration point so we can test to make sure each piece of the puzzle works fitting together. This is done many times before the product is released so that everyone can see how the product works and have insights into how it could work better for the next product increment. That's great. Let's dive in a little bit deeper on that. So when you're working with multiple teams in an agile system, how do you really make sure that each team is integrating? The teams are usually using their own branch to push their code. But when we get to the integration point, we need to have an environment called staging. Staging is a mirror of production. Staging has production data in it. What happens is we move our code to staging, it integrates. We get the teams to make sure that their code isn't going to break anyone else's code, that everything works together before we get to that staging point. Once we get to the staging point, that is the working product in what would normally be a QA area, but now it's called staging because it is not using false data, it's using real data. This way we can release on demand. If it works in staging, ipso facto, it will work in production. Therefore, as soon as it's approved in staging, we press the button to deploy and it's in production. Okay, excellent. Thanks for that rundown there, Nicholas. And I know that MACPAR uses a pragmatic agile approach. And can you tell us more about that? Yes, agile is 20 years old. Actually, it's a little bit older, but it's officially 20 years old this year. And it has changed in the last 20 years from a philosophy to an empiric system where we can prove that we are delivering value. Pragmatic Agile concentrates on delivering value, flow, and quality. These are the three tenets of Lean, which means we must show the customer that we are delivering value at an incremental basis so that they understand that they're getting what they're paying for. This is something that I've been working with some of the Fortune 100 and federal government on a, a mathematical equation so that we can empirically prove delivered value. All right, excellent. Well, this concludes this MACPAR Insights into Federal Agile Transformation video podcast interview, which is designed to provide federal IT leaders with all the strategic tools and insights they need to best leverage agile development today and into the future. And as you heard, today we spoke with Nicholas Sibley, who is the Agile coach and trainer for MACPAR about cross-platform integration. And Nicholas, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Matt, and look forward to speaking to you within the future.